right, this one comes from someone named A Nani Moose. You have I to be anonymous to answer that. ask this question. Nobody wants nobody wants you to know that they asked this question. You know, like, the person's they don't want to be caught. The company right. sees it, they're gonna fire them and say, You're a security <laughs> risk, get out. Okay, well, here's the question that uh, anonymous asks. Can anyone give me options on how to turn off Microsoft Authenticator for Office 365? I have multiple students. Okay, so this is, uh, I'm assuming Teams in education, and I don't want them to install the Authenticator app on their phone. Um, so maybe we should say we should not answer this on the grounds that we could, most of us could lose our MVP status by telling them how to do to violate their security um yeah, one i wouldn't do it i mean there's a the re, no offense you're you're telling us you're dealing with students Steal, students are not always the most reliable um safety conscious or anything <laughs> like that um i mean just saying um, so, you know, and if it's college students, there's a whole other subset of things that could go on in that kind of a setting. Um, so I feel like it would be a bad idea. Is it something that you can do if you're using conditional access policies? Yes, you can have groups of people, individual users that you can put in an exception. But would I do this? Absolutely not. Well, one other thing, again, depending on the age, if it's called students, I mean, I'd be surprised that they don't already have Authenticator on there because of other applications and systems. And right. hopefully, um, I'd even say younger kids with phones. I get, I, I mean, I'm reading this as um, I don't want to have to ask students to install another application and go through that. Want it to be as streamlined as, pro as possible. But when you're talking about the security of and the risk of not having multi-factor authentication in place, like it's better to teach them what it is, why, and to use it than to remove it because it's easier. Yeah, well, mo most most people are using MFA for other things. Their banks, even gaming. Right. Gaming requires mm -hmm. MFA at this point. Um, so I put a I put a link to the. Um, there's a way to change it instead of using the authenticator download you can switch it to text or you can switch that, it to um, the number that pops up um mm -hmm. so instead of using the authenticator download just simply change the method that they're doing mfa by and then if it's just like an sms message or something then that way they won't have to download that application yeah mm -hmm. because if it's a the supportability of another app on their personal phones then do the text method, method right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. everybody yeah. has uh, as text, so I would look at that option before I do the turn off thing at all, so. Christian's yeah, like, I, I already do 90% of the work for you guys. If you could do the 1% for me, <laughs> that'd be great. So I, just, I, I, I think when, <laughs> when uh, I, I almost made the comment earlier, it says, yeah, Christian, I just add the link. And I said, talking about links makes such awesome video. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. May I have another?